first LP back. Um, I didn't think I'd ever get this far. I'm gonna turn this down for myself just real quick. Um, so I played Black, Pokemon Black, when I was still in elementary school. I saw the the I saw the commercial for it, and I thought this was the coolest thing ever in the world. So I begged for it for Christmas and got myself a DS and black. And then later on, I, I purchased white later. And then black two came out. And that's when I really fell in love with the Pokemon franchise and started to like play the other DS games. And then I played X when it came out. I didn't play Sun and Moon. And then I got started getting back into it when I realized that any of my parents should dictate what like what is childish anymore so but yeah and then I started back with I believe it was Sword and Shield and now I'm like fully up to date I got a bunch of DS games so I thought I should go back and take a look at my like first ever game to this franchise uh, I do still own the game but I have no idea how to set it up so Oh yeah, let me just fucking activate <laughs> brush. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I just don't know how to set it up with the Elgato or anything like that. So, I, I, with the help of my boy, I got this emulator running. It took a while because he kept sending me the wrong stuff, and um, I can. And then I was trying to balance it right so you guys can hear me, but still kind of hear the music as well. So. Hopefully this should be good. I did a different emulator and the volume was real bad and you couldn't hear me at all. So, um, hopefully this one's better. <laughs> I'm going to put my mic probably over here because I'm going to use my right hand a lot. All right. So new game. I already have the controls mapped out, so I won't have to do that shit. Hi there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Look at it, it's a little mouse! <laughs> That's right, this world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is, a, is particularly popular and deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough about me. Can you tell me about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, did the thing fucking crash? Oops. Shit. Ah, oh, goddamn. Don't fuck. Don't look at that. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I guess I didn't like that my mouse wasn't on the, <laughs> on the screen. I'm sorry. Yep, yep, girl. I like to know your name. Please tell me. You know what's cool about this emulator is that I can just fucking... <laughs> so my name is Phoenix, and so fucking surprisingly enough, it fits. There you go. Your name is Phoenix. Yep. Your name is Phoenix. What a wonderful name. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. This young man is Sharon. He can be a little difficult, but he's a he's very honest. This young woman is Bianca. She's very feist flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Phoenix. The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of views. I really hope you find what's important to you on these journeys. That's right, befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That's the most important goal in your journey. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. Fuck yeah, bitches! <laughs> We're getting a Pokemon! Now, I think what I want to do for this one is that, like, as I get party Pokemon, I'm going to put them, like, here at the bottom screen. <laughs> I 
pressed too far down in my mouse. Anyway, I'm gonna put them at the bottom screen, that way you guys can keep track of who I have. Also, just to let you know, I'm not a voice actor, so... I will try to keep the voices consistent. Phoenix. I heard from the professor. We get to have a Pokemon? What is keeping Bianca? Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca. I've known you for 10 years and you have no sense of time, but seriously. Today's the day we get a Pokemon from the Pokemon Professor. Same fucking thing, I can't read. I know. Sorry, Phoenix. Sorry, Charon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Phoenix's house, so Phoenix gets the picks first. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Phoenix. You go first and take a peek inside the box. I want to meet the Pokemon right away. Uh, first thing we're doing, um, item menu, options, <laughs> we are putting this tech speed up. Um, I think I'm gonna do set mode. I never do set mode, but I'll fucking do it, why not? And Pokemon. Now, I don't think I'll be doing a Nuzlocke. I think I'll just be doing like a, like a normal run of this game. But maybe in Black 2, I might do a Nuzlocke. So, I brought you three Pokemon for you and each of your friends. Please select your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon. So, you're telling me I can't fucking just rip this shit out of Jaren's hands? Now, unpopular opinion. I don't like Tepic that much. Um, fire is good, especially early on, since. Well, there's a couple of good fire types later on, but. I don't like the fire fighting types at all, because I keep forgetting that they have more weaknesses, so I can't use them in certain situations. Uh, Snivy's a pretty good choice, but I'm going to go with Oshawa, mainly because I've always used Oshawa, and it, I feel like you can just do anything you want with it. If you don't like it later, you can just make an HM slave, but this thing is like has pretty high both attack and special attack, so you can basically like customize it however you want, such as be a special attacker or an attacker. And you can teach it so many different variety of moves. So if you don't use like buffing stuff or anything or like status moves, then you can just like have like a water type move, a grass type move. I think this thing knows dig and earth like I think earthquake, but don't quote me on that. It knows revenge, it knows ice beam, it knows so many different moves. So, Ashwat. Ashwat. Give me Ashwat. Also, this was my first ever starter when I first started playing, so I gotta go with the classic choice. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Charon, that one's yours. How come Bianca gets to pick next? She was late. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? <sighs> Never mind. I wanted Snivy from the start anyway. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know! Let's have a Pokemon battle! Honestly, Bianca. Even though there's still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have a Pokemon battle inside a house. Don't be a worry wart. These little ones are weak, like you said. Then let them head about so they can get stronger. It's settled, Phoenix. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. I do miss this in, uh, in like, other games. Just like the fucking... the sprites and everything. So Bianca will always choose what you're super effective against, in this case being uh, water versus fire, and a chair will always pick what you're weak against, so in this case, grass versus water. So if you're, if you're stupid about it, I think you can lose. What the fuck did I- oh. <laughs> So I'm using broken headphones, because if I don't, the audio will get all fucked up. So, I forgot it's like a dual thing. So I can't hear any of the audio for Oshawa, but I know it's there. I know it is there. It's just that these are very old. Whew. Yeah, so... Sorry. Um, yeah, so I just keep fucking tackling. I'll go down eventually. 
I mean, unless you're really stupid about it and you keep using fucking, like, Tail Whip. It's not really hard to not die. <laughs> Pokemon on both sides do their best. Girl, you kept using fucking Tail Whip. <laughs> My fucking bed! <laughs> Phoenix, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell. No doubt. Um, Bianca, would you take a look around? She knocked on my fucking plant. She knocked on my desk. At least the Wii you save. Wow, Pokemon are amazing. So little, but so strong. I'm so glad I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, uh, sorry about your room, Phoenix. Yeah, it's about time you apologize. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Phoenix's Pokemon needs to be fixed up too. Thank you, Chimera. I always imagine him talking like beyond, like, um, Biakia from Danganronpa. I don't remember seeing the, like, him in the anime, so I don't know exactly what he sounds like, so I'm just guesstimating. <laughs> hey, Chimera, why don't you have a Pokemon battle? With all you know, I'm sure you can't you can battle without turning the room into a disaster like I did. What the fuck did I press? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I believe you're right. I don't know what I- pr I just pressed the, the period button. It'll be a- no problem for me to keep the room for getting in the mess here. Besides, it's no fair to see you two are the only ones to have fun battling. It's decided. You'll be my opponent for our very first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, Snivy. I think I have an idea of what Pokemon I want to get later for my party. I'm trying not to do like the exact same Pokemon I usually do for my runs, so some of them will be off limits, except for Oshawa. <laughs> but I'm thinking I would do maybe Woobat, Lilligant, um, I'm trying to think of the, I just had another one. Maybe Sandile, a good brown dark type. So that's like three right there. I'm not sure what the others yeah, should be. Ooh, excuse me, I'm not even like crazy. Don't fucking tackle me. Yeah, you're dead now. Bitch. All right, level six. So, that's a Pokemon battle. Let's go. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. What about the Oh, I better come too. You bitches, this is my room. It's not like you messed up both of our rooms. Fucking... Is the Wii okay? It's a Wii console. It's not even scratched. Dude, these things could survive fucking nukes. What about our plant? What about our bed? The bed is a mess. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Alright, let's go downstairs. <laughs> I'm very sorry about the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Clean up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting for in the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait, I gotta go home first. Thanks for having us over. Hey, ma'am. Hi, my Phoenix. Pokemon battles sure are lively, aren't they? I can hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm, that reminds me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Fuck yeah, we got medicals. Pokemon are looking great. Now, if, if you, you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. 
You want to thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey. Yep, let's go. We gotta go to Bianca. Let's see what she's fucking crying about. Oh, the padubs! At night, you get the, the woo bats flying around, which is like a super cute detail. No, no, a thousand times no! But I'm, I'm a good trainer who's got a Pokemon and everything! I can totally go on an adventure! Oh, the little hat sprite. Oh, it's okay. It, it's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Oh, she's dead. What's her dad gonna say? What nonsense is this? How can my daughter, who knows nothing about the world, be going on a adventure with Pokemon? I don't know. Don't mind my husband. He's just being overprotective. All children go out adventuring with Pokemon. It's part of growing up. Yep, at the right page of ten, you, <laughs> you throw a Pokemon at them and kick them out of the village. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's beat the Pokemon Professor. This actually has pretty good music for like being an area where you don't go into a lot. Hi there, I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Professor Juniper. You know your name. Come, come, Sharon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today's a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being said, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, dude, I can answer that. That was Arceus. Done. Research done. Oh, so if you want to research that, why aren't you in the fucking, like, Sinnoh region? <laughs> Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to get your Pokemon a nickname? Yes. Um, I would like to name him Kai, because it's a water name, and it's based off of my favorite person in Disventure Camp. Um, if you haven't seen Disventure Camp, I highly recommend it. It's by Odd Nation. It's like a, like a fan-made season of, um, of Total Drama. So, pretty good. What the fuck did I just- I don't know how I pause. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I see. You're okay with the nickname Kai? Yes. It's pretty good. Kai is a great name. It's such a great name. That is why I give you- As for why I gave you all Pokemon. It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I am astounded. Nice work, Sharon. You have already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain from the beginning for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So, you, I want you three to visit many places and meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Phoenix, Sharon, Bianca. You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Absolutely! I love completing the Pokedex. <laughs> Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer exactly how I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. Sweet, we got the Pokedex! Next, you need to teach. I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Meet me on Route 1, okay? Since Pokemon, since the professor asks us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life? I think I like that. Of course, we can travel wherever we want while completing the Pokedex. Fuck yeah! I love how Charon is just like everyone that's ever played like 1 through 4. He's like, come on, we know, we know, you're the fucking Pokemon professor, you're gonna give it the Pokedex. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give <laughs> oh, there you are, and what the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it! Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three these town maps. Take good care of them. Fuck yeah, we'll probably never use that. <laughs> there you are, Sharon. And one for you, too, Bianca. As for your room, Phoenix, or what's left of it, no need to worry. 
I'll, ta I'll take care of tying it up. Okay, Phoenix? Oh, Pokemon, they're so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They're really something. But Pokemon like that by your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that in addition to Pokemon, you find lots and lots of places you like around the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip! I used to tell map, I always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go! Phoenix, hurry and come too! Yeah, I don't got fucking running shoes! Give me a damn second! Phoenix, this way! Yeah, it's the only exit out of town! <laughs> Bianca says we're starting our journey together. She wants us all to take our first steps at the same time. Hey, Phoenix! Let's all take our first steps to Route 1 together! Okay, here we go. One, two. Okay, that is a cute moment. I like that. <laughs> oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? Sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry we have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex pages automatically fill when you meet a Pokemon. More at Moreover, it's set up that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. I think this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. Damn, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's a little pet rat! I don't know who I'm gonna have as my HM slave. I might do auto now. Ugh. I feel bad making auto know my my HM sleeve because I used to have it on my team a lot. Uh, I just recommend j just follow this advice for like normal Pokemon. If it's level 2, just throw a Pokeball at it. It's weak enough as it is and you might critical hit it if it's something you really wanted. Especially if you're doing a Nuzlocke. Just keep throwing the balls at like at full health until like, I want to say after the third gym, it'll be kind of like risky to keep doing that because you'll just be wasting at that point. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon still have a lot of their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use a Pokemon's moves to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you, some Pokeballs. Fuck yeah, let's go. Maybe I'll get a little pup. Pokeballs are used to catch Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'll go ahead. I'll wait for you in Accumula Town. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you in tall grass. Man, what a fucking snark. I'm heading to Accumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can shop for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, uh, Sharon, Phoenix, I thought it was something fun. But we need to get going. I imagine the, the professor's waiting, too. Would you listen for a second? Seriously. Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from the po from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Actually, this sounds interesting. It would fill up the Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it will please the professor, too. Okay, then, until we reach a Pumula Town kick. Take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Typey will do our best for sure. Let me see real quick what I'm doing on time right now. Okay, I think we have enough time where I, I can just like get to the end of this route. Oh, first Pokemon battle. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's a little Piplup! Little doggy! Alright. Fight it! I know I just said just, just catch them, but I don't want to see. Alright, let's, let's just go ahead and catch it. I believe these things know pickup. Oops, wrong. These things all know pickup, so... 
Wait, she only gave us five Pokeballs? I thought it was like 30. There you go. Let's go. It's a puppy Pokemon. Faces strong opponents with great courage, but when at a disadvantage in a fight, this intelligent Pokemon flees. That's good. Um, yeah, let's fucking name it. I don't think it'll be a permanent person, it'll just be like an HM slave. So let's do... Iggy! Because it's a boy, and it's a puppy. So now we have one from, uh, from JoJo's now. I don't know if I'll catch a pat rat. I think I'll just keep killing whatever I find now. Little pup again. Tackle. It is. It is really cute. This thing does know some pretty good bite moves. I think that when it evolves into Hernier, you can bring it to a, a move tutor, and you can have it learn Thunder, Fire, and Ice Fang, which is pretty good, uh, like, diverse moves. Now, I don't know what its hidden ability is, if it is, because, um, at least for Sword and Shield, uh, my Bolton had the, like, had the ability Strong Jaw, which made it so fighting moves did more damage. So I don't know if Herdier can know that at all. And if they can, I would highly recommend getting them that that ability and just putting like those three moves on there for like coverage. And maybe like either probably crunch is a better than bite. I don't know. One does something more than the other. No one's more powerful, but one also lowers defense. So um I think as well. Um, you can also just do Super Fang, which automatically just does half, so that's a pretty good move. If it's not like if you're not doing it with a ghost. Oh, level seven! Good job, Kai. Oh, we got Water Gun. Hell yeah! Now we we really gotta not challenge Snivy a lot, because <laughs> at this point he's probably got a Grass type move. All right. We're almost to the end, and then we'll, we'll call it here. I can't remember right away if, like, if I get into this cutscene, I'll get dragged into, like, three different cutscenes at once. So we'll probably end it right on Route 1. Uh, let's try a water gun. I just realized that I didn't look at anything for my, <laughs> for my Pokemon. Like, uh, what nature-wise anything, so I should probably do that. Good job, guy. Uh, let's see. X Pokemon? Let's see. Summary? So it has a brave nature. What does that do? I I might be wrong with this, but I believe it's plus a attack minus speed. Which isn't bad because speed is our our lowest, so I think this is the best one we could possibly get. Since we have plus attack, we can make it into a more of an attacker instead of a special attacker. So, like yeah, like I did say, like the the, the special attack and the attack are always tied, unless you have like a, a nature that influences one over the other. All right, and then what about pick up? It has a quiet nature, so that's plus special- oh, minus speed, this one's bad. <laughs> oh, it does have pickup though, so we'll, we'll just keep it in the party as like an HM slave and we'll pick up items until we get like a better team. I believe while it has pickup, I think it learns intimidate? I think? Either that or learns like the sand stream, which makes it not get hurt in sandstorms. So that's pretty good. Um, I mean, not bad, I guess. All right, B. Can I walk right here? Okay. So I think I'm gonna end it here for this, like my first video back with doing LPs and everything. Um, 
in the next one, we shall go to Akimula Town and meet up with the professor and see where the journey heads next after we do this little cutscene, which will be in the next episode. So thank you guys for joining me with this. Um, it's good to be back doing some gaming stuff, especially doing one of my favorite childhood games. So if you did like this, please leave a like and comment down below like if, if you want me to continue. I'll probably still, even if, <laughs> if you say no, but yeah, just give me some tips and tricks. I don't remember everything about this game. Uh, I know snippets, so I might still need some help along the way. So yeah, just thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.